Hi, you guys. Happy Thursday. Thank you for tuning in on my beauty page. So I'm Maddie Wade. If you, this is your first time here, I have been doing beauty and skincare for about three years now, and it's my absolute passion. So I've been doing these weekly videos every Thursday. I come live at 7 p.m. to give you guys some tips, tricks, do a demo, walk through something. I also do a weekly giveaway every single week. So make sure you guys comment and you share. So when you hop on, if you're watching the replay or if you watch on live, tell me hi, let me know you're here. And if you share, let me know that you shared it because that actually doubles your entries. So we can go ahead and I'm gonna get started tonight. I'm actually really excited about tonight. I get so many questions on my eyeshadows and um, I have my seven best tips for you tonight. So I'm excited to give them to you. And I also have some color schemes kind of put together specifically for different colored eyes. So first thing, obviously, if you guys are brand new to eyeshadow, let me know first like where you guys are at. Are you? Do you feel like you're experienced with eyeshadows? Um, or do you feel like you're brand new at eyeshadows? Do you feel like you're somewhere in the middle? Um, I find that the dark eyeshadows are really great for people who want to make the whites of their eyes look a little bit more white. Like especially if I know a lot of people have maybe like a little bit of a yellow tint to their eyes right in that white area and darker eyeshadows are going to bring out the whiteness of your eyes and the other thing is is that lighter colors on the flip side are going to be super natural. So if you're just starting off with eyeshadows and you're like where to start start with the light ones because the light ones are definitely the easiest ones to use all right hi you guys hi I see everybody on here let's see hi Joey Dana Ashley Robin hi guys hi Ramsey all right awesome I'm glad you guys are here with me all right, so my first one, tip number one, is to prep and to prime. So prepping, we need to make sure that we are washing our face every morning and every night, right? I mean, that's not just for skincare. That's going to help your makeup application as well. Um, so using an eye cream is also part of that prep. I really recommend anybody who's over the age of 16 is using an eye cream morning and night. It takes two seconds to apply it right underneath your eye. It makes a world of a difference. So prep. And then prime is super important too. This is our eye primer. It makes a drastic difference. If you have not watched some of them, I usually always demo this when I'm showing an eyeshadow tutorial because nobody ever believes me how well this stuff works until you see it. And it's like, oh, it really does work. <laughs> and this little bottle is 12 bucks. It should last you a long, long time too. All right, so number two, tip number two is start with your color wheel. So if you are experienced in eyeshadow and you're like, I already feel really comfortable playing with all the colors, then maybe this part isn't for you. But if you're a little bit on the newer side or you're like, I just haven't found the perfect palette for me yet. One, I love that all of our palettes are customizable, so you get to decide these things. But I did put up here, I made some little palettes. I thought this was kind of fun. Okay, so we'll start with brown eyes first. I have brown eyes. So um, right up here, this is my brown eyed palette right here. And let me tell you what we've got up here. So for brown eyes, the best colors to use for brown eyes are blue, purple, green, and nude and pinks. So brown eyes have quite the spectrum. So over here, let me tell you what I've got in here. I've got dusty rose, hazelnut, um, this one is evening starlight. Sorry, I gotta like flip this around so I can make sure I say them right. <laughs> or maybe that one's evening navy. And then um, we have mahogany, rose gold, and biscotti. That is what I put in this brown eyed section. But the main part is, is that for brown eyes, the best colors that go with it are blues, which was weird. I was like, oh, I don't know if I like am re really ready for blues yet. But What's really fun about the darker colors like blues or greens, we're going to get to greens too here in a minute. And um, well, actually greens is part of blue as well. If you just put it in like a little V out here in this outer corner, I feel like it's an easy way to work into using some colors that you might not be super comfortable with since it's just a little bit on the outer corner. Um, so that's how I started with blues. And actually, I really like blues now. It's funny because I was like not a colored person for a long time, but now I really like them. So anyway. This is the brown eyed palette right up there. The next one is hazel eyes. Okay, so tell me, comment in the comments right now. Tell me what color eyes you have because obviously that's what we're doing, right? So um, comment what color eyes you have. But hazel, so for hazel eyes, these are the best colors. Browns, golds, 
greens, and purples. Yes, I love the hazel ones. So this is the little palette that I came up with for the hazels. So it's right here. These six colors, you can see, so right here we've got Sand Castle. Right below Sand Castle is Gold Status. So right here. This one is Moss. Over here is Rustic. Up here is Cinnabar. And then this one is the Emerald Noir. So, I, okay, guys, like, I don't care what color eyes you have. This one's, like, my favorite palette right here, though. Just because I love those, like, nude colors with the greens mixed in there and the gold. It's so pretty. So, anyway, right here, this was the Hazel Eye palette that I came up with today. Again, the things that work well for that are browns, golds, greens, and purples. Okay, let's see what color eyes you guys have. Blue, hazel, hazel, blue, brown, blue. Okay, all right. Well, blue-eyed girls, listen up. The next one is for you. The best colors for blue-eyed girls are pink or like a rose color, um, browns, creams, purples, and grays. So let me show you what I came up with for this one right over here. So I really dove into the purples because I love blue eyes with purple eyeshadow. Man, it is like absolutely beautiful. So right up here, we've got... Um, so this one is the Frozen Iris. Down below that is the Soft Heather. Down below that is Merlot. Up here is Burnished Bronze. Below that is Moonstone. And then this last one down here is Shiny Penny. They are also, the I love that little combo. And again, that one was the Blue Eyed combo that I came up with. I actually had so much fun coming up with these combinations because I was trying not to use the colors twice. So I was trying to just use all the colors one time and put them in one of these. And it was a challenge, let me tell you, because I like wanted to use the same colors over and over. And I was like, no, I really want to space them out. So anyway, I actually had a lot of fun coming up with this today. So anyway, blue eyes again is pinks, browns, creams, purples, and grays. And then the last one is green eyes. So I think that's, I think there's only four colors of eyes, right? <laughs> I think so, unless somebody else has something else fun out there. But um, green eyes, great colors to go with green eyes are purple, pinks, golds, blues, and grays. So the green, this is what I came up with right here. So you can see I really pulled the grays into this one. We've also got that blue and that purple in there, which just look beautiful with grays. I think gray and purple do. So here's what we have. We have this one up here is granite. This one right here is crystalline. Down here we have, shoot, I don't know. Hang on, I got to look at that one. This, let, let me look at this one too. Um, this one is cashmere haze and then that one is sweet plum. These two, they're like, look really similar to an, um, a couple other shadows. So I don't want to tell you the wrong names. So let me just pop them out of here real quick. So which one did you guys like the best? Let me show you them one more time too. I will hear in just a second. Oh, I just dropped my blue eyeshadow. Yep. That's always good. That's always good. Okay. So this one is stormy right here. And then the blue one I just dropped is Evening Navy. <laughs> okay, there we go. Evening Navy. All right, so let me show you those four combos one more time, and I want you to vote. I want you to tell me which palette you like the best. Okay, so right here is brown. So this is the brown one. Over here is the hazelnut, or hazel, sorry. <laughs> hazelnut, that's one of our eyeshadows, not an eye color. So we have brown, hazel, blue, and then green. So green, blue, hazel, brown. Go ahead, put in the comments which one you like the best. Personally, I um I know I have brown eyes, but I would wear every single color that we offer. And the reason is, is that I just think after you get a little bit more used to applying eyeshadow and things like that then it becomes easier to like mix in new fun colors but I think starting with within your wheel of color is the best way to start with eyeshadows hands down the other thing is is the difference between matte and shimmer so sometimes shimmer can create if you have if you're a little bit older and you have some wrinkly eyelids um 
you know, the thing is, is that shimmer can sometimes make that look older. Sometimes it does not though. So it all just kind of depends. I usually recommend for matured eyes, the more of the mattes rather than the shimmer, like maybe add in a little bit of shimmer, but not as much. Um, I, hang on, let me keep going. I have notes. <laughs> I'm getting all off topic here. All right. Number three, tip number three is the right tools. This is so important. Make sure you have the right tools. So these are my four eyeshadow brushes that I always, always use. So let me tell you, they're used because I just used them <laughs> to put on my makeup earlier. But let me tell you. So this right here is our cream color brush, which I'm going to tell you about here in a little bit. I'm going to tell you about our liquid eyeshadows. But this is the cream color brush. The reason that it's called cream is because it's meant for excuse me, like liquid eyeshadows or liquid foundation, something along those lines. So cream colored brush. This is the all over brush. This is my favorite one. Like you have to have this brush. If you do not have this brush, you need it. They're all 12 bucks too. So they're like fairly inexpensive. Coolest thing ever. Mary Kay has a lifetime guarantee for all of our brushes too. So if they ever break or the little bristles start falling out, you just let me know and you get it replaced for free as well. So anyway, this all over brush, it has really just like gray um, bristles in there and also it's just easy to blend. It's And then also, I so I blend with one and then I use the other one to apply like sparkles or something like that. So I really love this brush. Um, these two are also handy. This is the eye crease brush. So that does exactly what it sounds like. You put that color right in the crease with this nice crease brush and then this one is the smudger brush so I'm gonna come back to that too but my favorite place to use this is right underneath my eye right there so you can see right here how I have a little bit of a line right there I put a little bit of eyeshadow underneath there and I always use this smudger brush if you want to add just like a little bit extra dark color too you can like pat it right out here in the outer corner and it just like has very the bristles are all so tight and so little that it applies the it applies the eyeshadow exactly where you want it and it's as pigmented as possible if that makes sense <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain but once you use it you're like oh now i get it all right so the right tools brush cleaner is also super important make sure you guys are washing your brushes so often we're like i have acne why do i have acne are you washing your brushes once a week? Like you need to be deep cleaning your brushes once a week. And then if you're wearing makeup every single, this is if you're wearing makeup every day, all right? So you, if you're wearing makeup every single day, then you need to make sure you're washing your brushes once a week. If you're not, then maybe like once every other week, you know, like figure it out, figure out your best system, but make sure you are washing your brushes. Our brush cleaner is also $10, $10, that's it. I was. I don't know if I have, I don't think I have one. Oh yeah, I do. Let me show you. This is our brush cleaner. It's huge. This will literally last you a lifetime, but it's 10 bucks. Well worth it. Um, okay. Next. Number four is blend. Oh my goodness. If you guys have watched my tutorials before, you know, I talk about this all the time, but make sure you are blending because Otherwise, we have like sharp lines on our eyes exactly where we started and stopped with a color. So today, I probably have about six different colors on my eyes. And the reason that they look so nicely blended together is because I keep blending over and over and over. Mixing eyeshadow colors in the beginning is going to be the easiest way for you to blend. The reason is, is that, so, okay, here's a, here's a little tip. If I'm doing browns, I would do a little bit of like the mahogany, let's say this one right here. So I'd put a little bit out on that outer corner and I would start to blend it. And then what I would do is I would go in with a lighter color like this hazelnut right here, this hazelnut. I would go over the top of it and keep blending it out. Adding in more colors are going to make a big difference and make it easier for you to blend because you're not just blending one color anymore. Now you're blending the two colors together. It's going to appear more like seamlessly. So all of you on here who are like, I can't figure out the blending. Try that. Let me know what you think because usually if you just add a couple more colors to it, add this, add some lighter colors, pick one dark color and then pick like one or two of the lighter colors and use it and blend it and try to mix them all together. It makes the biggest difference. Um, when you're applying shimmer, my best advice, let me see, where did I just put those brushes? Okay, so my best advice for when you are applying shimmer is take your 
I love this brush when I'm doing it. Um, let me see. Let me just pick up a little bit and I'll show you. Okay, so I picked up rose gold because that's what I have right on my eyelid right there. Um, so the best way to apply this shimmer to make it look as sparkly and as shimmery as possible is instead of blending. So now we're not blending. <laughs> now we're all done blending. So after you're all done blending, that's when you're going to apply this extra shimmer right on the crease of your, or not on the crease, on the lid of your eyelid. Um, so anyway, you're just going to take it and you're going to just press it right in. Pat it on there. Now this is going to help because it's going to really make it um like pop more instead of blending it out and getting rid of a little bit of that color. So for that last eyeshadow color that you have where you want it to pop out on your lid, apply it by patting instead of blending. And then when you are blending, my best piece of advice is to pretend like you're, it's like a windshield wiper, just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, eventually you're going to get the hang of it. I promise. Try mixing in those colors and let me know what you guys think about that. All right. Number five, tip number five is your lower lash line, adding some eyeshadow to your lower lash line. So I have some on right now, um, but it goes a long ways. It makes your eye look a lot bigger, but it's also not as harsh as an eyeliner, which I really love. I, it's not that I don't like the look of eyeliner. I do sometimes, but sometimes you want it to just look a little bit more natural. And that's where I really like to open up my eye with the eyeshadow right underneath. So let me show you that too. All right, so your eye smudger brush, that's what you want to use. I'm just going to pick up, I think I used Cinnabar right underneath my eye. So I picked up just a little bit and literally I tapped it in twice because our eyeshadows are super, super pigmented. So you a little bit goes a long ways. Um, so they're super, super pigmented. So you just need a little bit. So I tip, tapped it in twice and now I would just go ahead and put it right underneath my eye. I'm just going to wipe back and forth. And that's it. Just back and forth, back and forth. And it just opens up your eyes so much more. It makes your eye look so much bigger. So there we go. Number five. All right. Number six is brighten and define with concealer. So something I really love to do, which I have not demoed in a while, but I like to do my concealer. I wear light ivory. So go ahead, use my um, <laughs> pigmentation and guess your own shade or message me and I can help you and I can actually tell you what shade you'd probably be. But anyway, I use the concealer. I use it right underneath my eyebrow and then I use another one of these brushes, the um, cream colored brushes. And I just use it to basically just like blend right here to create a nice line on my eyebrow so that my eyebrows are really like, it's, <laughs> I, hmm, okay. How am I trying to explain this? So it's like gives you a nice cut crease right there. So Anne Marie, you have hooded eyelids. I also have hooded eyelids. So what the best piece of advice for hooded eyelids I can give is make sure that you go up and out. So we want to try to like bring that color up and out, which is going to make our eyes look a lot bigger and they're not going to look as hooded. So because of the way that my eyeshadow looks today, it doesn't really look like I have hooded eyes, but I do. It's all just an illusion with what you can do with your makeup. It's crazy, right? It, it, makeup is so cool. Um, but anyway, so brighten and define with concealer. So adding a little bit of concealer right under there. Um, you can also blend it down your eye. That's going to give you a nice point to start with if you're interested in starting with concealer. Or you can start with um, like a light eyeshadow, like biscotti. It doesn't matter. But I always like to start with like an even playing field. I like an even palette. I want it to be all the same color, if that makes sense. All right. Number seven is soften eyeliner. So again, you are going to go in with your smudger brush and to soften the eyeliner, my best piece of advice is you just take your brush and just rub it right on top of all the eyeliner and it's just going to soften it out. It's going to get rid of all those harsh lines that maybe your eyeliner was leaving before. Again, just looking more natural. It's just not going to look as like rigid, anything like that. All right. And the last thing I have for you is I wanted to show you our liquid shadows again. So I showed you our Chroma Fusion mineral colors, which are awesome. They have like, you can wear them for like 12 hours straight and they're not supposed to go anywhere. It's crazy. Um, and they're super pigmented, super pigmented. So does the smudger brush come in the brush kits? Let me think about that for a second. I believe it does. 
yes it does it does come in the brush kit so we do have a brush kit where oh let me show you actually it comes in this cute little um like pouch and it comes with three eyeshadow brushes so it comes with the all over eyeshadow brush the smudger brush and the crease brush and then it also comes with the cheek brush so to do your contour blush and the all over powder brush so to blend everything out on your face as well Okay, so here are our liquid eyeshadows. Have you guys tried these yet? Because they're the best. I promise. If you have tried them, tell me which one is your favorite. Let me show you. So we've got four different colors. I'm really hoping that they come out with more because I love them so much. They're so sparkly. They stay on all day long. They're easy to blend, which that was my biggest like thing. I was like, oof, putting something liquid on my eye. I feel like that's going to be really hard to blend it actually it's pretty easy to blend it which I was very very surprised with um so anyway let me show you and tell you the colors so here we go let me see here okay so this one no let me see okay this is light beam so light beam is the lightest one it's most like a cream um this one is pink starlight it applies more as like a pink um this one's my very very favorite one I wear all the time this one is the Meteor Shower, okay? Meteor Shower, that one's super pretty all by itself. That's my favorite way to use it. So like Pink Starlight, what I love to do is just put it, it's so, it's so quick. So I just take it, it looks like a little wand, stick it on top of my eye. I blend it out with my all over, um, or my, I'm so sorry. I blend it out with my cream colored brush. And then I would just take my all over brush, add a little bit of another color, like maybe dusty rose or sunlit rose and put it right on the outer corner. So it just like gives my eye a little bit extra dimension. So what is the reason for choosing liquid over the other? Great question. I would say one of them is like convenience. It's also kind of what you like best. Um, personally, today what I did is I have on all of these eyeshadows, so the mineral eyeshadows, except I took the light beam. I put it right here on top of there just to make it like a little bit extra sparkly because these are like super pigmented and sparkly too and then on top of it I put a little bit of rose gold so my favorite way to use them is mix the two together I think that they just mix really nicely um but you can just do one or the other the meteor shower with <laughs> nothing though is beautiful absolutely beautiful okay and then the last one is purple nova my favorite way to use this one is to just put a tiny little bit on this outer corner so um do the rest of my eye with like biscotti or something and then just put a little bit on that corner and blend it out and then add a little bit of like candlelight right there right on that little lid um so that's my favorite way to use purple nova and i told you about pink starlight meteor shower i honestly use all by itself and then the light beam i like to use this one with all my browns or, I mean, like I said, I used it today. Excuse me. So I like to use this one on the top of my lid just to add that little bit of like an extra sparkle. Okay, liquid shadows, they're 14 each. I have never sold one though and had somebody not like it. People love the liquid shadows, love them. Okay, and I did want to show you as well our palettes. So this palette I have it in. We don't actually sell this palette anymore. It's like super old and it's just because <laughs> they could all fit in there today. So I could show you them all so regimented. But I did want to show you the three different palettes that we do offer. This is the very smallest one. This one's eight bucks. It's called a petite palette. You can fit in there four eyeshadows or it has like right now it has a blush and an eyeshadow in there. Um, this is the medium size palette. This is, it, you can either fit six eyeshadows on both sides, so 12 all together, or you can put in like blush like I have right here. I've got a blush in there with some eyeshadows. You can kind of like customize it. It's my favorite part is that these are magnetic. Let me show you. So they're magnetic. So if you want to switch out your eyeshadow colors for the season or something like that, you just pop them right out and you can pop new ones in. And then it has the mirror, which is really dirty right now because it just came out of my makeup bag. <laughs> and this is the outside, which is really cute too. All right. And then the biggest one, our pro palette, the large palette. This is what it looks like on the outside. It doesn't come with this Hello Gorgeous. I put that on there. Um, It's just Mary Kay. And then this holds 
so much. So I, as you see, I stripped my, <laughs> my palette of all my eyeshadows so that I could show you guys them all today in those little patterns. But this is how many things can fit in there. there it's crazy. So these are just four eyeshadows right down here. So this could fit like I don't even know, like 30 eyeshadows maybe, um, and some blushes or whatever, but it's super cool because they are able to move. It's all magnetic. How many of you, this used to be me. I used to like go into Ulta and I would <laughs> find a palette and I'd be like, oh, I love two of these colors. I have to buy this palette because they just didn't come in regular, like one by one by one, or you have 50, I used to also really like Mac for a little while and I would have like a whole bunch of the little tiny circles and then I could never find them because it's like I just lose everything. So these palettes are my favorite. I love that they're magnetic. I love that you can switch them and you're not stuck with colors that you're not using. So palettes. Um, okay, and also, so today is Earth Day, so I really wanted to tell you guys a little bit about how Mary Kay supports, um, well, the Earth. So we actually have a program that's called Pink Doing Green, and they are literally out there working and making all this good stuff happen. So I just wanted to tell you real quick. So we have planted one million trees worldwide. That's amazing. One million trees worldwide. We um, have a worldwide recycling program. So Mary Kay is all over the entire world. So all over the world we are recycling and they have a recycling program. There are zero landfills that are associated with Mary Kay. Our boxes and our packing peanuts are 100% biodegradable. So this is actually really cool because I you know how you open packages and like some of the packing peanuts fly all over and then your dog eats one and then you're like shoot is that gonna kill him I don't know well you don't have to worry about that with Mary Kay thank gosh my dog eats them all the time <laughs> they are only made of um their bio peanuts are what they're called and they're made of corn and potato starch so not gonna hurt your kids not gonna hurt your dog which is like a huge win in my opinion you can take them too, dump them in your sink, rinse them right down your sink. You can take our cardboard boxes if you ever get an order from me from Mary Kay. And it's sent, yeah, Cooper, I know, right? Like he's such a, such a problem child, my dog Cooper. He gets into everything, but it's fine. <laughs> so if you ever get a box from me though that's from Mary Kay, you can take it out to your driveway, hose it down, and it's gonna disintegrate and completely um, like just wash away. So I love that about Mary Kay. Like that's just one of the coolest things. Um, so it is also all sustainable product packaging. So they work specifically to find good ways to use things that are like not going to hurt the environment, things that are able to be recycled, things that are not going to be thrown away as often. So like the perfect example is these palettes. So instead of selling palettes that are, you know, full of five colors or seven colors that maybe people aren't going to love everything on, um, we for 30 years have been selling these palettes that are might are, um, magnetic so that you get to choose what you want and you're not throwing the palettes away all the time. So that's another one. And the last one is they, all of our headquarters, our um, manufacturing plants, they are all powered by 100% renewable energy. That's pretty darn cool too. So anyway, I just had to share since today was Earth Day, some facts with you guys about Mary Kay because I absolutely love how health and earth conscious they are. Um, I think that that's something that's really, really cool. So we also have a Mary Kay foundation that they donate hundreds of thousands of millions, like millions of dollars to all of this kind of stuff too. So it affects like all of this. So the pink doing green, it also is for children and women who are... In abusive relationships they have um, like shelters all over so I personally live in the Grand Rapids area Grand Rapids Michigan area and we have one right downtown Grand Rapids it's pretty darn cool it's fully funded on all Mary Kay dollars so when you buy a mascara from Mary Kay or you buy a mascara from me really it goes to so much more it's not just all you know Mary Kay and making some guy out in California really, really rich and like buying his 15th home. Instead, it's actually helping people who are local to you as well because those shelters, there's over 225 of them all over the United States. So they're all over. Um, so I really, really like that. The other thing that they give back to is ending cancers for women and children as well. So 
over the years they've donated we've been around for I think it's 57 years now and over the 57 years they've donated like 89 million dollars to ending cancers so that's something I always want you guys to know too just because there is a bigger purpose behind this it's not all just mascara and lipsticks <laughs> there really is a bigger purpose um, and it's affecting your hometowns and I think that's pretty darn cool for you guys to know so anyway that's it. If you guys have questions about your eyeshadows, drop them in the comments. Let me know. Message me. Um, I'm going to post my link down below so that if you guys are interested in purchasing anything we talked about today, you can go ahead and find that right down in the comments. And the last piece of business we have here, if you are on right now, make sure you comment, make sure you like, make sure you share. If you share, just let me know you shared because we do a weekly drawing. And every single week, one of my customers, one of you guys who are watching this live video, gets a free prize and it's a free full size product. So make sure you share, make sure you comment. Our winner from last week is dun, 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 Olivia Hurst. Congratulations, Olivia. So keep an eye out on your mailbox and thank you guys all for joining me. I'll be back next Thursday at 7 p.m. and I can't wait to see you then. Bye guys.